Alright, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, we're going to juice something that they say can't be juiced. And what is that? Alright, what that is is bananas. So we got some bananas here. And this is what we're going to juice today in my favorite juicer, the Nama J2 Juicer. If you are considering buying a juicer, the Nama J2 may be the one you want to get if you want the easiest time to juice. Literally, I get a lot of feedback from my customers that say, John, the Nama J2 is a game changer because it allows me to basically pre-cut some produce, put it in there, shut the lid, and literally walk away, come back in three to five minutes, and you have a whole glass of juice, anywhere from 24 to 32 ounces of juice ready made for you guys so you guys could drink. No longer do you need to sit there over the juicer and push each produce item in one item at a time that uses your valuable time when you could be using your time for other things you would like to do instead because now we have the automatic juicing assistant aka the Nama J2. So today we're going to juice something that they say can't be juiced. They're like, oh, bananas are better for blending, right? Well, yes, normally I would say bananas are better for blending and that's when you use the banana flesh on the inside. What many people fail to realize, and those of you guys that are smart know this, that you could actually eat the banana peel and that the banana peel is a significant source of antioxidants and polyphenols and other vitamins and minerals and including resistant starch and fiber that is good for you guys to eat. If you guys choose to juice your bananas like I am today, I encourage you guys to buy organic bananas that are not sprayed with toxic pesticides. Um, these are organic uh, bananas that I basically washed and basically brushed and that's why they have like a streak marks on them because like I'm like wow the brush actually kind of bruised the bananas because I want to get them clean because I was juicing them whole today. But nonetheless, um, this peel of the banana has more antioxidants and polyphenols. From a published study, we'll throw it up right there down below. You can see the polyphenol content is more than the flesh content on the inside. In addition, this chart shows that the antioxidant content, for the most part, is also greater than the fruit on the inside. You know, how many times have you basically just wasted? More than half the nutrition in a banana because you threw away the peel. You're like thinking, John, everybody throws away the peel. I don't know anybody that eats the peel at all, right? And you'd be right, right? That's the amazing thing about the Nama J2. It'll basically extract these antioxidants, polyphenols, vitamins and minerals from the skin of the fruits. I mean, when you juice an apple, you juice the skin, right? When you juice a pear, you juice the skin. When you juice a tomato, you juice the skin. The juicer basically grinds up the skin and extracts the nutrients out of the skin. And that's what we're going to do today with bananas. So here's the tip, guys. If you guys want to juice bananas, very important, you want to buy nice and hard and firm bananas that are unripe. Also, according to the published studies, uh, unripe bananas actually have more polyphenols and antioxidant activity than the ripe bananas. Furthermore, unripe bananas also have significantly higher resistant starch content, which makes it healthier for you guys to eat. Now, yes, I know they're not going to taste as sweet, but they'll be more health beneficial for you. Now, while I am juicing whole bananas today, the other thing you could do is you could just eat the banana on the inside, save the peel, cut it up into little pieces, and then actually juice the banana peel with your other fruits and vegetables so you guys could get some of the nutrition out of the peel that you would normally throw away. This is what my channel is all about. I've been juicing for 28 years now, and I want to show you guys the best advice and advice you won't hear anywhere else so that you guys could take your health to the next level, whether it's from buying a juicer that you will actually use more than not use because a lot of juicers, you got to literally sit there and push produce, and it's going to take you guys a lot of time. But I'll also show you guys my hints and tips about juicing that you're not going to hear on any other channel. On a lot of channels that I see, they just repeat the dogma about juicing and give you standard recipes and whatnot i'm going to tell you guys the cutting edge information you're not going to hear anywhere else so if you're not already subscribed make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out i don't want you guys to miss any episodes because each one of my episodes is action-packed and filled with information that may change your life 
In any case, juicing in the NAM is super simple, super easy. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our banana and cut it up into little pieces, right? We're not taking the peel off. We're just cut up in little pieces. Nothing could be easier than that. Maybe like a one inch pieces or so. This is gonna help the machine work a little bit better to get it juiced. And once again, reminder, these bananas are hard and firm. They are not yet ripe. If they get too soft, then yes, I would absolutely say they're better for blending, but when they're hard and firm or even still green, right, that's when you can juice them the best. So we got the hopper filled up. We're gonna shut the lid, turn the machine on, and now we let the juicer do all the magic, feed in that fruit and the peel, crush it all up, and get the banana juice out. All right, there it is. We got the banana juice coming right out of the Nama J2 juicer. I think we're gonna go ahead and fill up some more bananas. Alright, check it out guys, we have a full glass of banana juice. I just cut the bananas, load them in there, and close the lid, and it totally juiced. We're going to go ahead and turn that off, let it drip down a little bit. But I want to show you guys this banana pulp, guys. It's absolutely insane. So check it out what it's kicking out, right? This is the banana pulp, right? I'm going to take it in my hand, and I'm going to squeeze it as much as I can. Ugh! Ugh! Oh, there's one drop. You see it? Come on. <laughs> Basically, this pulp is quite dry. That is quite impressive. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys, you got to juice hard and firm bananas. Even better yet, if they're green, these were just basically yellow and still quite hard. So I selected them very carefully when I was picking them out at the grocery store for juicing, right? If you may not have to get too soft, don't do it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and close that lid. Check it out. One tall glass of banana juice. And honestly... This is a juice that I've never made before because the Nama J2 can handle the bananas. As I'm showing you guys, I've never tried this before because I've always thought, oh, bananas are better blended. But hey, now with the Nama J2, you can juice them if you want. But now the taste test of the 100% banana juice so I can tell you guys what it tastes like. Wow. That's a lot better than I ever thought it was going to be. This is insane. Mark my words, this is going to be like the newest thing on TikTok and Instagram Reels and making fresh banana juice with the Nama J2. It is such an incredible machine that makes juicing easy, saves you guys time, and you can make your own fresh banana juice. So let me go ahead and take another swig and I'll try to show you guys what it tastes like. Wow, that is seriously good. Even though these bananas were not even that ripe, they were organic, it tastes like you're drinking banana juice. Because, I mean, we didn't add any water. We didn't add anything. This is not a smoothie, no. Now, I will say there is a bite, right? So you taste just banana liquid, right? Never before have I tasted this in my life. It's maybe like a banana extract because it is. We're just extracting the flavors and the vitamins, minerals, and polyphenols, antioxidants out of the banana putting it in a glass. Imagine using this as a base for your recipe, right? So, oh, you got to make a smoothie. You could now use banana juice, blend it with berries and even whole bananas and other things to basically give your smoothie that banana punch. Imagine using this in ice creams. Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. Now, yes, there is a tinge of kind of the stronger, like maybe bitter, and that's the skin you're tasting, right? Those are the polyphenols you're tasting in the skin that now you're getting access to because you use the Nama J2 juicer that extracted the skin as well as the flesh juice out. Amazing. Now, I will say that bananas are a low water content food. So, you know, watermelon could have like 99% water. Bananas, on the other hand, are like around 70% water. So you're going to have to use a lot more bananas to make banana juice. Now, the final tip I want to show with you guys if you guys want to make straight banana juice, that's great. But what I would recommend when you're done making straight banana juice is maybe throwing in some whole carrots or some cubed up jicama because some of this stuff in the top is so soft it may not go through the juicer. Or if you don't mind from the get-go, just mix up the hopper with pieces of carrots and pieces of bananas. It's The juicer is going to work a lot better than doing straight bananas as I did today. So if you guys want to make your own fresh banana juice, 
The Nama J2 is the only juicer I recommend for doing that because other juicers may clog, back up, and jam, and frankly just not work. You want to make sure you guys use the coupon code BANANA55 at namawell.com. That will save you guys $55 off the Nama J2 juicer. The Nama J2 juicer is my favorite juicer because it makes juicing easy. You cut up every, all the produce, you load it in, you shut the lid, and you wait for the juicer to work. In addition, it could juice things like wheatgrass. It could juice things like bananas that I've shown. You know, video on the wheatgrass is down below. I make bulk green juices, bulk root juices, bulk fruit juices in this machine. It juices it all simply and easily, and that is why I love it so much. And let's not forget, the Nama J2 has a full 15-year warranty on the motor base and the top parts. That is your assurance that you'll have a juicer for many years. Why buy a cheap juicer that has only a two-year warranty that if it breaks in a couple years, you got to buy another one? Invest in a Nama. It's a one-time juicer investment, so you'll be juicing for the next 15 years because the machine is under warranty. In addition, the Nama is sold worldwide at namawell.com, and they will ship it to you through DHL. They have drastically reduced shipping prices. I did like a quote to Australia and it's $70 in Australian dollars. A quote to Germany lately was like 29 euros. I saw a customer in Canada order it. I don't know, it was maybe like 30 Canadian dollars. So yeah, NAMA has shipping from the USA all over the world for the lowest prices. And as well, you're going to get that same 15-year warranty and the NAMA support. In addition, if you don't have all the money today to buy the NAMA J2, that's all right. They have easy financing options and some of which even have no interest. So you could buy it now and make time payments so that you guys could get your NAMA juicer sooner rather than later so you can enjoy fresh banana juice as well as ramp up your consumption of fruits and vegetables that will help you attain your weight reduction goals or your health goals to get healthier and uh, you know juicing is one of the staples in my diet i drink from 32 to 96 ounces a day on a daily basis and part of that is for hydration as well of course the phytonutrients and of course amazing flavors such as the banana juice i made today if you guys enjoyed this episode please be sure to give this big big thumbs up more importantly share this video with other people so that they can see how they can juice bananas in the Nama J2 juicer and how amazing banana juice actually tastes. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss my new and upcoming episodes. I have coming out every five to seven days. You better know where I show up or what you'll be learning or what new produce item I'll be juicing or what new juicers I'll be comparing or vacuum blenders I'll be showing to you guys. So make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. I don't want you to miss any single episode because I always try to pack them with information that you probably haven't heard anywhere else. Also, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are wealth of knowledge. Over 700 episodes at this time on the channel dedicated to teach you guys all about the different kind of juicers on the market so that you could get the right juicer for you. Links down below some of my videos I made in the past in the Nama J2, including juicing easy recipes, including juicing fruits, including juicing vegetables, including juicing things like wheatgrass, in the Nama J2 and how it makes it a lot more easy for you to make and drink your juice. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.